Today I'm going to show you how to properly clean a Chromebook or a laptop. Um, a lot of you have Chromebooks at home um, or laptops that you're wondering how to clean and you might be doing it, but you might not be doing it the right way. Um, so what I want to do is show you the proper way to actually clean one of these devices. Okay. Uh, first thing to note, I'm going to use Clorox wipes here. You can use any kind of disinfectant wipes you want. You can actually even use water if you want. It's not going to disinfect your computer. Uh, you can use some spray cleaner, spray Clorox on a rag. Um, you can use a lot of different things here. I'm using the Clorox wipes because I have it handy. Okay. Second thing to note, when we open up a computer, even if you have a computer that's spill resistant or supposedly waterproof, um, which most computers aren't waterproof, they're just spill resistant. What they're talking about is the keyboard, not the entire computer. If you get the computer wet, you have all these ports on the side, water gets down in here or liquid gets down in there, destroys your computer. So keep that in mind. Even if you have a computer that's supposed to, supposedly spill, res spill resistant, that does not mean it's spill proof. So how do we clean this? Well, first things first, we grab a Clorox wipe. All right, so we got a Clorox wipe here. When you take these things out of the container, they're actually pretty wet, damp. Um, that's okay. You can use that as they are, as long as they're not sopping wet. And just go ahead and just wipe off the whole surface. You'll notice it gets fairly clean. It's not going to remove every blemish. But if you sit and scrub it, it'll do a pretty good job. Okay, so we're going to do the bottom here. And I'm not going to do this overly, overly well, because this is just an instructional video, but we're just going to go around the edges. Okay. And when you get to the ports and stuff, you will make sure this is fairly dry. You can see it, or it's kind of hard to tell, but it's fairly dry. If I really put some pressure on that, there's nothing coming out. So it's pretty dry. You can then open up the computer and you can wipe the inside. Now, I wanna make a note here. Before you wipe the inside of this computer, this rag is fairly dry. If I was to grab a brand new wipe out of this container, I would not want to wipe it. If I just wring this, see all that liquid? That's gonna go on your keyboard. So I need to wring this out really well till there's no more liquid. Notice there's no more liquid coming out. None, okay? At that point in time, then I'm okay to go ahead and clean the keys. The other thing you wanna make sure you do is make sure it's powered off. Chromebooks automatically power on when you open them. Um, so you wanna go ahead and power it off because you're gonna be pressing all these keys. Now it's, it's not gonna hurt it, but you're gonna maybe trigger some stuff that you don't want to like uh, voice overlay or something else. So you just turn it off, wipe your keyboard down really well. Okay. Again, I'm not gonna do a super job. And then we can go around the edge of the screen. Now we don't wanna go on the screen itself because these, all these screens have anti-glare coatings and the Clorox, the chemicals inside of here, especially ammonia, but other chemicals can actually, uh, can actually rip that anti-glare coating off, make your screen look really bad. So we don't ever wanna use one of these here, but we can go around the edge of the screen. Say if your camera's getting kind of dirty, we can go around the edge of the screen. I'm doing this one-handed, so I'm not gonna do it super again, but we do that. Once you got it all cleaned off, you're good. Now, how do we clean the screen? Well, get you a soft cloth. Now, this is a micro suede cloth. Um, some people call them microfiber. This is actually micro suede. This is what you use to clean your eyeglasses, if you have glasses. Um, otherwise, just get a very, very soft cloth. And what you can do is you can wipe this screen down with that soft cloth. And you notice the eyeglass cleaners actually do a really, really good job. If I just kind of wipe this a little bit, okay? It does a pretty good job, right? Just with the cleaner itself. If you want, you can actually get these a little damp. So what you're gonna do is run this under water. Don't use Windex, don't use other cleaners. Run it under water, wring it out just like I did the sanitizer wipe. Wring it out really well, wipe it off, get it really, really clean and then go with another soft, soft cloth, micro suede, and go ahead and dry it off. Otherwise you'll get water spots on everything, okay? So that's how you, that's how you properly clean a computer. Again, keep in mind the screens are sensitive, so you don't wanna use any harsh chemicals on them. You wanna keep those uh, 
just basically water if you can. If you have eyeglass cleaner wipes, eyeglass cleaner spray, you can use that. But again, you don't want it sopping wet. You want to keep those actually pretty, pretty dry or pretty damp. Okay, that's it. Thanks.